Section 1.4 is comparing and ordering integers. I can compare and order integers. Integers are the numbers like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So uh, they don't have any decimals or fractions with them. They're just the whole number part plus 0 plus the opposites, so the negative whole numbers. Negative integers are integers less than 0. Positive integers are integers greater than 0. So in example 1, um, we are going to graph and order integers. Use a number line to order these integers from least to greatest. So I'm going to put a 0 here just in the middle so that we have kind of a frame of reference. Negative 8, uh, since it's negative, it's less than 0. We go to the left. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. We go 8 places over. And this right here is going to be negative 8. 5 is positive, so we go to the right. 5 places. Negative 4, we already have. It's 4 to the left of 0. Two is positive, so it's two units to the right. Zero just is zero. And six is positive, so we go six units to the right. And there we go. So to order these from least to greatest, we look here. I have negative eight, negative four, zero, two, five, and six. Absolute value is the distance from zero a number is on a number line. The absolute value of a number a is written like this. It's a with these two straight bars. We call those absolute value bars. Uh, and that tells us they want just the distance away from zero. We don't care about direction. So for example, we might drive to Fargo. We might drive back. Uh, and it's about 70 miles both ways. It's not negative 71, right? We're talking um, distance. So it's the same regardless of which direction. So the absolute value of the number here for number 2, 5 is 5 units away from 0 on a number line. Happens to be to the right, but that doesn't matter. So the absolute value is 5. Negative 7 on a number line is 7 units to the left because it's negative. Um, and so we count just the places there. We want to know it's just seven units. We don't care that we went to the left. We don't care in A that we went to the right. The direction doesn't matter. It's just how far away. So for absolute value, our answers are always going to be positive or zero. We're never going to have a negative absolute value uh, as our final answer because distance is never negative. We never say we drove five or negative five miles or anything like that. Opposites are two numbers that have the same absolute value but different signs. So negative 10 here, we can say the opposite of 10 or negative 10. This right here, uh, we try to remember uh, to read this right here as the opposite of a. Sometimes we say negative a, but keep in mind a could be positive or negative. We don't know what number goes in there. So it's a good habit to try and get into to say the opposite of a. So here we are going to find the opposite. So 6 means we went to the right 6 units because it's positive. The opposite means we go to the left, so negative 6 units. In b we have negative 15. That means we went to the left 15 units, so the opposite of left means we're going to go to the right, or positive, 15 units. So you can either write it as a plus 15 or just 15, either way there. Now feel free to pause here and give this a try. We're going to state the absolute value and opposite of each number. So our absolute value of 3, remember that's our distance away from 0, and it's 3 units. It happens to be to the right, but we don't care about that. We just want to know how far away. The opposite 
of 3. Right now we have a positive 3, so the opposite means we go to the left 3, so negative 3. Try 2. Absolute value here. Negative 1 uh, tells us that we're one unit to the left. We don't care about direction, we just want to know how far. So our absolute value here is 1. The opposite, since we went to the left one unit, now we're going to go to the right or a positive one. Give 3 a try. Absolute value of 10. It's a positive 10, so we know we went to the right 10 units. We don't care about the sign here or the direction. Our absolute value is 10. That's how many units away. And the opposite. Right now we have a positive 10, which means we went to the right. The opposite of the right is to the left, so here we're going to have a negative 10. And try 4. Right now we have a negative 11, which means we went to the left 11 units. Absolute value is just our distance, just that 11 units. We don't care about direction, but for the opposite we do. Again, we started off going left, so the opposite of left is right. So here we're going to go to the right 11 units, or positive 11. In example 4, uh, we're going to be evaluating variable expressions. So here we're going to evaluate the expression when y equals negative 5. So everywhere that I see a y, I'm going to plug in a negative 5. So the first thing I see is a minus sign, I'm going to keep that. And then my y is negative 5, and usually you put it in parentheses if there's back-to-back -back signs, but doesn't really matter. Uh, so here what we're saying is the opposite of what follows. So the opposite of negative 5 gives me a positive 5. So this minus y here, remember we does the opposite of y. y is negative 5, so we get positive 5. In b, I have 17 minus absolute value, and inside my absolute value I have negative 5. Absolute value is a grouping symbol, just like parentheses and brackets and fraction bars. So we go ahead and do that part first. The absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. And I bring everything else down. So I have 17 minus that absolute value, which we said was just 5. And now we can subtract, and we get 12. Go ahead and pause here and give these a try. We're going to evaluate the expression when x equals negative 4. So in 6, everywhere I see an x, I'm going to make it a negative 4. First thing I see is a minus sign, and then I see that x. So I have negative x or minus x, the opposite of x. Uh, remember, here this tells us we take the opposite of what follows. So the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. Try 7. Here I have 12 minus absolute value, and inside my absolute value I have an x, which we know is negative 4. Again, absolute value is a grouping symbol, so we do that first. Absolute value of negative 4, how far away from 0 is negative 4? It's 4 units. Let me bring everything else down. And now all I have is subtraction, so I can go ahead and do that and we get 8. In 8 here, again we said x equals negative 4. So go ahead and give 8 a try. First thing I see is absolute values of x. We said x was negative 4. And then we add 9. So Absolute value of negative 4, again it's 4 units to the left, but we don't care about direction. We just want to know how far from 0, and this is 4. We still have a plus 9 there. We go ahead and do that, and we end up with 13. And the last one here, number 9, give it a try. Again, we have absolute value of x. The very first thing we see, every time we see x, we plug in a negative 4 and it's still being subtracted by 1. So absolute value goes first. 
Absolute value of negative 4 is still just 4, 4 units away to the left. We don't care which direction. And we still have a minus 1. So when we perform that operation there, we get 3. And that's all I have for section 1.4.